Uh, Dr. Owens, I was wondering uh, what treatment options out, are out there that I should consider for back pain or back pain treatment? Uh, there are a lot of options out there. Um, for back pain, uh, a lot of people come to me after they've been to their medical doctor, their, the physical therapist, and, and those, those treatments haven't worked. Um, those are certainly options. However, a, with a chiropractor, we try to get to the root cause of the, of, the, of the pain, which is usually a bone that has some form of, of, of dysfunction. In other words, it's not working correctly. With a chiropractic adjustment, we will locate areas of the spine that are very stiff, that aren't moving correctly, or maybe jammed out of position. And the job is to get them functioning again so that they can flex, so they can move. Physical therapy doesn't address that. Certainly drugs don't affect that. Uh, so chiropractic is a great choice. Uh, after, the, after, we restore, after we do restore the joint dysfunction, physical therapy can be a great option because they're going to do some strengthening exercises. You'll learn that's really what they're, they're, really, um, they're really trained for is the strengthening and rehabilitation of stuff. But you can't do that over top of joint dysfunction. And so that's where chiropractic comes in, I think. Is Hi, Dr. Owens. Uh, I was wondering, could my work environment be affecting my back pain at all? Uh, absolutely. Work environments can vary, of course. Um, the one we see here in Bellevue a lot, uh, being close to Microsoft, is the uh, computer posture, where someone is here or looking into the computer all day. The head goes forward. They're sitting all day, and they never move. Uh, that creates a pretty, pretty uh, standard pain here in the shoulder blades uh, in, in back, um, upper back kind of uh, naggy pain that's always there. Uh, and then, of course, they go back to work the next day, and it's there again. So that's very correctable. Uh, as far as other work environments, um, if someone is, uh, you know, any repetitive motion with limited ranges can cause back pain and our, our, our job really at that point is to address how to how to get them doing other things during the rest of the day. For the computer guys we might have them stretch their pecs backwards a lot of times during the day because we have to move our body in all directions for it to be pain free. Dr. Owens I was uh, wondering what causes back pain. There are many causes of back pain and that's why you really need a professional to evaluate it. It could be something as simple as a muscle uh, tear, uh, which will heal up all by itself. If that's the case, it goes away in a, a week or two and never comes back. Uh, if it's something more severe, the body generally will tell you. Uh, it'll something that, be something that persists. It could be something that where the ligament's been damaged or a bone has, itself has been jammed out of place, is stuck there, and is, is compressing uh, onto nerves, um, and that needs to be evaluated by a professional, uh, especially a chiropractor. Uh, but there's many causes of back pain, um, and... Uh, All right, Dr. Owens, uh, I have a question here. Are there any symptoms of back pain which indicate a more serious condition or uh, like a disease or anything like that? There certainly can be uh, serious conditions that cause back pain. Uh, if it's something like cancer or a ruptured disc that's beyond help. Uh, with cancer, you'll tend to get a very hard, boring pain, and it doesn't go away no matter what you try. Um, with something like a ruptured disc, it's an extreme pain. The pain will probably be at about a 10 out of a 10 on a pain scale. Wow. It will be intense, uh, so intense, in fact, that you're thinking that you need to be at a hospital for morphine right now. Uh, there can be degrees of these conditions, and that's why it's never bad to go get uh, you know, opinions from medical doctors or have imaging done like MRIs or x-rays. Um, I'll work with patients, uh, if, especially if they're not responding. We want to make sure and rule that kind of stuff out before we, we uh, continue on with chiropractic care. Um, but 90 to 95 percent of all pain conditions in the spine are something that we can handle and take care of just nicely. So. Good morning everyone, Dr. Owens, Chiropractic of Bellevue. And today I want to show you uh, a great little technique I learned and that I used myself to keep the shoulders, uh, to keep pain, the shoulders pain free,
keep them mobile and uh, help you before your workouts, after the workouts. And all you need is a little stretchy band. And you can use any kind of stretchy band that you like. The exercise is called band, stretchy band, dislocates. And what we're doing is we are going to work the shoulder through a range of motion where it's tight. Because we seldom move the shoulder back. We're always forward doing computer work or working on stuff. To keep the shoulders healthy, we have to stretch them backwards, which stretch the pecs, but also work that the joint capsule in the posterior or back aspect of the shoulder capsule. So that's what we're doing here. We're just mobilizing it. I suggest 10 to 15 times, and as you work that, you can feel it, and it'll, you'll start to get a little lactic acid burn. That's good. It's doing what it should do. Don't get too crazy with it. When you start out, what's nice about the stretchy band is that it'll accommodate with you a little bit. So you can start out, if you can only go to here, keep your arms locked. If you can only go to here, great. Work that, work that motion. As you become more flexible, you can choke in on the band a little bit more. Get a little better stretch as it goes over that. I'm Dr. Owens. Use this to everyone. I'm Dr. Owens here at Chiropractic of Bellevue. Today I wanted to go over a, uh, one of the ways that we can work on someone with low back pain. If we uh, look at the spine here, uh, this would be looking at somebody from behind. I'm going to set the spine down here on the table. Sometimes folks have pain in the side of the lower back. Not dead in the middle, but off to the side. And that is pain generated from the SI joint or sacroiliac joint. And so how we work on that, we have to restore the motion of that joint. And a great tool we use is the arthrostam. And what we do is we just palpate or feel to see which is moving and which is not. And we find the areas that are stuck. And we just want to restore that motion. As we restore the motion, the body then restores that nervous input from the joint up to the brain so that it moves normally and feels a lot better. So that's one of the ways we can work on SI joint pain or low back pain that's off on the well, side. Dr. Owens, Chiropractic of Bellevue. Hope you're having a great day. I wanted to show you a few quick things you can do for your low back while you're sitting all day at work. Uh, there's a couple of really great stretches that will stretch the hips, the glutes, and keep pressure off that sciatic nerve as it goes down the leg. The first one, and you can just do this while you're sitting right at work, is you will spread your legs apart as far as you can, keep the, keep the lower leg fairly parallel to each other, and as you keep your backs Keep your back fairly straight. You arch forward and push out. As you arch forward and push out, you're going to do this in one-second pulses, I like to say. It's, it's better than just sitting there and holding it. You can hold it, but it's, it's a little better for the body if you'll just you pulse forward and then come out of it and relax. Pulse forward come out of it and relax. You're going to do that for about 12 to 15 times or until the area feels nice and warm. Now this one you should feel in the hip joints itself. The second one that you can do is... Good morning everyone, Dr. Owens, Chiropractic of Bellevue. Hope you're having a great day. I want to show you a quick stretch for the hip that you can do at work while you're sitting. Maybe you're sitting at the computer and need to take a little study break. This will keep some of the pressure off the hips, allow them to be more mobile also alleviating the low back pain. When you, when, you, when you do this stretch, you just spread the legs apart, lower legs parallel, and you're going to just pulse forward. Keep the lower back nice and straight, and you're just going to pulse in. Pulse in with the stretch. You'll feel the stretch, and then you relax. Pulse in, you'll feel the stretch, and relax. You put slight pressure out on your knees. Do this 12, 15 times. You can do it 3 to 4 times a day if you like be great for the hip joint capsules and low back pain. I'm Dr. Owens. I'm Dr. Owens, Chiropractic of Bellevue. Hope you're having a great day. I wanted to show you a few quick things you can do for your low back while you're sitting all day at work. Uh, there's a couple of really great stretches that will stretch the hips, the glutes, and 
keep pressure off that sciatic nerve as it goes down the leg. The first one, and you can just do this while you're sitting right at work, is you will spread your legs apart as far as you can, keep the, keep the lower leg fairly parallel to each other. And as you keep your, backs, keep your back fairly straight, you arch forward and push out. As you arch forward and push out, you're going to do this in one-second pulses, I like to say. It's, it's better than just sitting there and holding it. You can hold it, but it's, it's a little better for the body if you'll just you pulse forward and then come out of it and relax. Pulse forward, come out of it and relax. You're going to do that for about 12 to 15 times or until the area feels nice and warm. Now this one you should feel in the hip joints itself.